and they're off in the Dragon Stakes. Nazalan broke alertly, so too cues lightly, races down the centre of the course over on the far side rail is Halla Emirati, also right in the mix early is Sergeant Wilco and over on the far side is Born to Rock the two who are slightly outpaced early are Killian together with Hackman and now they're racing through the halfway point a three way go for the lead cues lightly in the centre of the course between rivals Sergeant Wilco over on the far side rail is Halla Emirati, Nazalan being ridden just in behind them and then Born to Rock. Hackman has clear sailing down the centre of the course. Killian now shuffled back to the rear of the field. They're racing on inside the final flung and a half and it's Hackman and Nazalan who are now the first two. Now whipping right round the outside is Killian in the hands of Ryan Moore and inside the final furlong it's Killian who has now gone on and he's putting distance between he and his toiling rivals. Killian is coming home in a rump and Killian is much the best of the Dragon Stakes. He wins by a wide margin over Hackman and Nazalan. Wildly impressive stuff from Killian at 9 to 4 under Ryan Moore, beating Hackman, who was 14 to 1. Well, when a two year old can win a listed race over five furlongs by six lengths, and it's time to sit up and take notice. He couldn't get a run down on the inside, and Ryan had to switch him right round the field, and then he quickened up and cleared right away from his rivals in the closing stages. He's value for more than the six lengths that he won, given the trouble that he got in running. And surely a group race could be his for the taking. Killian was just really impressive in the Dragon Stakes. Ryan Moore was on board. How impressed were you? Um, yeah, very impressed. Uh, look, he, he obviously took his first couple of races. It was maybe slightly disappointing. He won an ordinary race at Newcastle. Um, but, but he felt like a horse that was still learning even today mm. and um, speed was you know they're kind of everyone got involved quite early there and we, we were out of it but he uh, he picked up really well and I yeah I was, I was very impressed by him when you say he's still learning even today we could see it from he was a little bit tardy into his stride out of the gates was there anything else that struck you from your position yeah well as soon as I got to the front he felt like he I shouldn't have been there and um, <laughs> even, even putting up there he didn't want to go over the road and can't me down he did, something caught his eye um, he's still not sure what he's here for yet so um, he's an exciting horse I suppose that probably accounts for why it took him three starts to actually get his head in front I'd say so yeah what do you think his trip is going to be in the short term uh, he's, he's, he's a lot of speed he was very comfortable the whole way but he won't have a problem with six okay. and you think he's ready to go up and grade surely after a success like that oh yeah yeah Looking ahead to tomorrow and the Eclipse, you're on board Paddington. It's a small field. What are you thinking? It's going to be a tactical affair, isn't it? Um, I suppose all races are tactical affairs. That's true. So um, mine's, mine's a straightforward horse. And uh, I've loved everything he's done this year. He's, uh, he's, he's out early. Um, so this, this is already his fifth race. Um, it's very, very impressed with the Irish Guineas. Very impressed with him at Ascot. And... Um, uh, look, we're taking against a few questions he has to answer against an older mayor and going up and trip. Um, but we'll, it's a good thing, we'll find this out tomorrow and uh, yeah, look, looking, forward, looking forward to him. If you had to sort of pinpoint his one asset, what would you say it is? It's a lot of class. Aidan was talking about his ability to quicken off a fast pace and he was uh, likening him to St Mark's Basilica. Do you see any similarities? Yeah, well, look, obviously they're both by Sea Union. This fellow's out of a Montjumeir, um, and they're, they're both Guinea's winners. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, and they're both coming here? Yeah. Okay, well, best of luck tomorrow. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.